Hey gang, okay, so we're going to talk about one kind of specific reaction in this video, and it's called a Gabriel synthesis. And to be more specific, it's going to be the Gabriel synthesis of primary amine. Now, like, this is what it is. And I remember this is what I was taught, and I, I don't, can't remember if I was asked this on my, one of my tests, but the cool thing is you already know how to do this mechanism. It just involves a lot, you know, an attack, a lot of proton shuffling, another attack, more proton shuffling. So let's get after it. Okay, so I'm telling you that this is what the reaction is, guys. So you take this aromatic compound, and the important characteristic of it, like this can be, you know, a five-membered ring over here or a six-membered ring, but you have to have these, this kind of, this diacid compound. Now, if we throw in some NH3, here's what we expect to get. We're not going to touch the benzene ring, but we will form kind of this like diamid type compound, right? So what you're going to see is this means it's going to have one, two cod bonds to carbon and this lone pair as well as that hydrogen, right? One, two, three, four. He's a happy nitrogen. Okay, so I'm going to kind of box this in green. Get a little color going on up in here. And then we're just going to go right into drawing the mechanism. And I don't know, we'll use a mixture of blue and black. We'll, keep, we'll uh, switch it up a little bit. Okay, but the thing is, you guys already know how to do this, right? We already know how to make um, amides, right? That's all we're doing, just twice, right? This is nothing new. Okay, so let's just jump right in. So I'm going to draw my ring. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my NH3 and I'm going to just attack just the top carbonyl, because why not? It doesn't matter which one I attack, it's symmetrical. Electrons will bounce up onto the carbonyl oxygen, right? Draw my arrow. Draw my ring. Okay, now remember, this is like the tetrahedral intermediate type step that we've seen before. Oxygen has a negative charge. I didn't touch that OH. I now have this nitrogen here with these three hydrogens. Nitrogen has a positive charge. Remember, oh, let me finish the rest of the molecule. Now remember, we like to protonate the things we want to get rid of and deprotonate the things we want to get rid of, right? Sorry, hold on. I want to make sure I said that right. We want to protonate the things we want to get rid of. We want to deprotonate the things we want to keep. Sorry. So we want nitrogen to stay. Let's deprotonate him. We want this OH to leave. Let's get rid of him. I'm going to do kind of like this intramolecular acid-base reaction. So I'm going to have this OH, this oxygen, sneak up and grab one of these hydrogens. And then I'm going to dump the electrons onto nitrogen just to make it simple. Totally fair game to do. Right? Here's our ring. O minus is still chilling up there. Now we have an NH2 and the nitrogen does not have a positive charge. And right now we have OH2 plus aka water, a good leaving group. That's a good thing. And we still haven't touched the bottom carboxylic acid, right? So what are we going to do? We need to give that water a reason to leave. Let's swing down this lone pair, form a double bond, reform our carbonyl, and eject water, right? Boom. This is the minus H2O step. Back over here. Have it touch the ring. We now have our carbonyl back. We now have an NH2. Have it touch the acid below. Okay, well, let's just do what we did up here all over again. What I'm going to do is this nitrogen, right? He has a lone pair. He's going to come in. He's going to attack the carbonyl carbon, kick electrons up onto the carbonyl oxygen. And by doing that, right, we kind of close this ring because it didn't touch that carbonyl up there. The nitrogen's down here, and he has two bonds to these hydrogens, right? And down here, right, we have 
this type of scenario going on. Oh, sorry guys, this is uh, v very awkward. Sorry, let me draw it and then I'll kind of explain it. Okay, right, so what we did, we used this nitrogen to bond to that carbon. We've closed the ring. We have a one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five membered ring. Five membered ring. Sorry, got mixed up with counting. Nitrogen has a positive charge. This oxygen now has a negative charge. We need to protonate the things we want to get rid of. We need to deprotonate what we want to keep. We need to deprotonate the nitrogen. We need to protonate the oxygen. I'm going to do the little switcheroo, it, the intramolecular acid base type thing. Let's draw the result. Didn't touch the oxygen up top. We now have the nitrogen just bonded to one hydrogen. Whoa, hold on, sorry. Let me just draw it again. Should have learned from the last time I did this. Okay, right? Here's where we are. What we need, we now have OH2 plus, water, good leaving group. Our amine is now neutral. We need to give this water a reason to leave. Let's swing electrons down, eject water. Minus water for the second time. And now you can see we have reached our goal. So guys, this is nothing new. All we did here, attack the car partially positive carbonyl, form a tetrahedral intermediate, swap protons, deprotonate who you want to keep, protonate who you want to leave, swing electrons down, eject your leaving group. Do it again. This is the Gabriel synthesis. I have you guys do this exact same mechanism on, on the worksheet, worksheet two, so make sure you can do it. All right, let's move on to another reaction.